oh my god long time no vlog you are on my cabinet like the handles are holding you up um don't look back there it's a mess but what's up hey hi hello welcome to my channel my name is jess um i was like i'm starting dinner it's friday evening and i was like oh maybe i should vlog i haven't vlogged in a while so that's what this is a weekend reading vlog because your girl finished a book last night and I started another one today. What books are they? Mind your business. I finished It Ends With Us last night. It was a reread and I started It Starts With Us today. Okay. Anyway, I'm making a lasagna soup. I've made this before, but I found a new recipe on TikTok. So I want to try it because um, it was a bit different from the one I've made in the past. And of course, I have some bread because I mean, bread goes with everything. So I'm making dinner, I'm washing clothes. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing this weekend besides reading. I would like, I definitely think if I don't finish it tonight, I could finish It Starts With Us tomorrow and then I wanna read one more book over the weekend. I know that's ambitious, but right now I'm in the mode. I'm in the mode, I'm in the mood. And if I can get another short book, you know, I'm trying to get myself back in, in the mood of reading so I can get to Jade Legacy Ooh, before the year is over or Ray is going to beat me. Senseless. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna show you snippets of the weekend, nothing exciting. I'm either, I'm usually here or at Lowe's. That's where I bees. So yeah, hope this is fun. ET Dubs, this came out delicious, but I just wanted to say if you are like, Jessica, are you wearing like ripped boxer shorts? No, I'm not, mind your business nothing you don't see it you don't see anything You done? Lay down. Nigel, lay down. Okay, hello. So I forgot to film this morning. It's now like 10, 10, 13. And we had cinnamon rolls and coffee. Um, don't mind the mess, this room is not done. But look at my beautiful sea salt wall. We have still stuff. We still, we still have stuff to do in this room. Um, today we are taking a break from home improvements. Uh, and anyway, so Andrew's not here. And so I started this last night. I got 114 pages in and then my eyes were heavy. So I have like 200 pages left. This is so weird because this book looks the same size as it ends with us, but it's shorter. Cause it's only like, 300 with acknowledgments 322 pages so i should be able fin to finish this today um i'm a mom, 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 mom yeah i'm enjoying it because i mean she wrote this for people who are fans of atlas and lily so as i am one of those people of course i'm enjoying it and being like oh they just want them to be together 
so that's really it. Um, we're supposed to, his dad and stepmom came up today. Um, and so we're gonna get like a late lunch with them, I think. Oh, they're gonna come see the house. It's a disaster, but they're gonna come see the house. We're gonna go, then we're gonna go get a late lunch. So I doubt I'll finish this right now, probably later. Um, but yeah, me and Nigel are just laying in the bed. And yeah, okay. Well, well yeah, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> this is a vlog separate from the video that I'm doing for this. So yeah, okay, I'll update you later. I look a mess, so I'm not gonna show you because have I been crying? Maybe. I am so close to finishing this book, but I have to put it down right now. I will page two, eight. like look how much, I have to put it down right now because Andrew is leaving his, um, wherever, I forgot what, whatever. He's leaving to come back and I have to get up and like tidy up before they get here and like get dressed. <laughs> I'm so close to the end, but I have to get up. Nigel! We gotta organize, you see? Mess. Huh? Nigel! Look at this. I just love this wall color. This is not finished either. This TV is not gonna stay in here. We're painting this and this dresser. Um, and obviously the bookshelves are not gonna be for clothes, but right now this is a work in progress. Anyway, gotta get up. Loving this, cannot wait to finish. Okay, so I'm back. We went to Bass Pro after we went to lunch. And of course I had to get something for Nigel so I got him another tennis ball and got this little frisbee thing. And I also got myself some candy. I love Smarties. We got sour gummies. Nigel is eating right now. So with his in-laws coming up or my in-laws coming up, they brought our mail that had gone to Texas before we like transferred our address. Um, this is just mine. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so there's a lot of red dirt out here and this one likes to put his little paws in it. So we had to go in the bathtub and soak our little feetsies. Matching Christmas jammers. Planning in advance this time. so out of shape it's embarrassing i'm like running around after nigel and i'm like sweating panting it is trifling i need to get back to working out but um i forgot what time it is i think it's like 1 30 so we were out at the stores and the most important store was <laughs> to the grocery store and we were so tired we were like i don't want to go so we came back home he's like i'll go tomorrow after work so we didn't go to the grocery store but um Got some stuff for Nigel, got various things, got some paint from Lowe's, a couple Christmas decorations. Um, but now I'm gonna rest and I'm probably gonna get back to reading. So last night I started The Very Secret Society of Witches or something, I'll put it here. Um, because I heard from Elliot Brooks that it was super cute and like cozy read and I hadn't really heard of it. So I started that last night, only got like 10%. I'm interested, I don't have a lot to say yet. So I'll read a little more and check back in. Okay, before y'all try to drag me in the comments, this may not be the best way to paint something like this, but this is the way we did it, okay? 
um it came out fine i'll show you a picture but there are some things we just can't afford to replace right now so we have to make do so we took the poles off and painted this it's kind of like a cream color i really like how it came out i ordered new poles we did the same with our nightstands they were the same dark brown and we painted them that green and got new poles for those that i really like um so it's working for us it does not look pretty in the moment but it worked but yeah, some things had to be priority, like the fence and the appliances, obviously. So new bedroom furniture is just gonna have to wait. Man, the appearance, because I'm looking rough. But of course, continuing to paint. But I did get 21% into, which end am I supposed to use? I did get 21% into the very What's it called? Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. And it is super cute. So essentially there's, it's like modern day witches is set in the UK. And it starts off with like a meeting of the witches because it's in this world, they don't really hang out with each other because the more they're around each other, the more potent their magic is. And the more that increases the chances of them being found out. So they just have these like quarterly meetings to say, you know, any new spells, any news, and then they go back to their own lives. And all, almost all witches in this world are like orphans. Something happens to their family and then they grow up, you know, not with their parents. And they definitely don't grow up with other witches. Well, one of them, her name is Mika, uh, <laughs> post about witchy stuff on tiktok but she's like pretending like oh you know witchy stuff as in like real regular people would post about and she's like people don't actually think i'm a witch well somebody does think she's a witch and it's this guy who basically is a caretaker for these three girls who are young witches at this place um this little not even a school like hey look at you should have seen this before it was like and thing but now it's that's amazing i want to go to paint school yeah is that a thing i think so i want to be a like they have sommelier for wine i want to be a painter for paint i don't know what that is anyway so there's this older queer couple two men and then there's a woman who and then a, another dude and they're all basically like they have different tasks in taking care and basically raising and educating these three young witches because but the lady who adopted them basically is always off on these archaeological expeditions or something so when one of them sees mika's tiktoks and her witch he could like see the see he's like i just felt it that you were actually a witch and he reaches out to her to be like please like we can teach them and everything else but we cannot help them like learn and control their magic and so she is going out here to move into this home um, to try to teach these young girls to control um, their magic, you know, and teach them stuff. So that's the, like, I just, she just moved in. And one of the girls um, is not excited about her. And one of the people, like one of the caretakers, he's pretty grumpy. So, very interesting to see where this goes. She has a doggy named Cersei. And we've got some... This dude who contacted her, Ian. Quite a character. His paint is beautifully mixed now. So I'm excited to see where it's going. But now I am doing some paint touch-ups from where, when we painted the sea salt, it got on the white trim. So I'm just going to do that. And I started watching Real Housewives of Beverly. Nope. Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I think Mara needs to start watching this. And um, that's it. It is Sunday. It's 4.35. I don't think I'm going to finish that book tonight. I mean, I would love to. If I do, I'll let you know. But I definitely can finish it tomorrow. And I'm feeling back in my like reading mojo. I'm feeling back in the reading mood. So this is exciting. Ta-da! Here it is. I think it looks so much better and it's going to be good for what we need it for right now. And then here is a picture of the poles that I ordered. Really excited and really liking the gold accents that we've added in. Again, this is what we can do right now within our budget because our dark furniture was just not working. So I'm happy with it.
And now for Sunday night kitchen closing. I mean, every night I wash my dishes. I can't leave dishes in the sink and go to sleep. Like I just don't function that way. But on Sunday night, it's an extra deep clean and I wash Nyla's bowls. I do that daily though. So if you're not doing that, you need to wash your pet's bowls daily. Gotta wash out your sink. That's also something I think you should do daily, but that's just my opinion. And yes, I do use a different scrubber for Nigel's bowls versus our dishes. Calm down. You could say whatever and I would never Especially now going back to work, doing my like Sunday night kitchen closing routine just gives me an added sense of peace. I personally find cleaning very therapeutic. So I just love wiping everything down, making sure I wash out my coffee pot, wa especially wa washing all of the like stainless steel things so there's no fingerprints. <sighs> it's just... I go lay down in the bed and I'm like, hallelujah. I mean, it doesn't make me want to work anymore on Monday, but it does just give me a little, a little more peace going into miserable Monday. You know what I'm saying? Now, as we are still in transition, the house is chaotic. My house is clean, but it's cluttered and it's a mess because we're painting and redoing things and whatever, whatever, whatever. But it's clean it's just not organized and yeah so you just do a little scrubbing this is tile that looks like wood and some of that red dirt gets on there and i just can't stand it so i do a little pre-scrubbing and then i mop and i shut that kitchen down and it's just gleaming and it just makes my fur feel so full so i didn't wrap up the vlog last night i did not finish the very regular group of witches i can't remember what it's called but I did get a little further um, and fingers crossed I can finish it tonight. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I don't think I got much further than when I updated you. Maybe I got to like 27%, but I was getting sleepy and with time changing, even though it was like nine o'clock, it felt like midnight. So um, I also started or I also finished the episode of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. So that cut in my reading with the Colleen Hoover books. Well, I don't know. I had already finished. So I reread and I think the video was already up. I reread It Ends With Us and I still loved it. Shocker. I mean, some of you may be shocked. And then I read the new one, It Starts With Us, and I loved it also. I know there's a lot of people who said it was boring or whatever, but it literally is made for, it was like a, a fan service. Like if you were fans of Lillian Atlas, this is them finally getting a happy story. So that's what it was. And I ate it up and I loved it. And I'm enjoying the book that I'm currently reading. So this is trending well. I hope that I can finish this one. I can get back into listening to Ace since my live show is this weekend. Um, I would also love to get to the bands of mourning. I don't know. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but I'm hoping this is my reading mojo coming back in. And hopefully if I can keep it varied between genres, I can keep going. I know that I'm not going to be able to read as much as I used to, and that's totally fine. I just want to be able to enjoy reading again, like actually want to pick up a book and not just watch reality TV all day. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this weekend vlog and maybe there will be more to come. Um, I don't do a lot of things <laughs> besides go to Lowe's and try to put this house together. So we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And uh, stay blessed, hydrated, and moisturized on sunscreen. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.